How's it going, everybody? I just bought this storage unit for three hundred and fifty dollars. So let's go ahead and get started on it. So this one's going to be a little bit interesting. I'm probably going to need y'all's help to identify some of these, but as you can tell, it's literally just full of paintings and stuff. Um, so I'm going to show you probably some of the paintings and some of the signatures. So if you can help me identify them, that would be a huge help because I have no idea what I'm looking at. That's pretty interesting. Very, very vintage. Yeah. Got one of those hoverboards. If it works, that's probably 40, 50 bucks, I think. A bunch of wrapping paper. Oh, this is the lamp for that. The lampshade for that guy. Got a giant bunny, which I'll probably repaint and try to sell online. Or my booth, probably my booth. But that's pretty neat. It's heavy duty. And if you guys could, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That really helps me out. Only a very small portion of y'all are subscribed. So yeah, y'all got me to a thousand and I appreciate that. So let's keep going. I want to hit 2,000 soon. So let's keep going. Ugh, let's bring this one out. Well, that's pretty interesting. Mohaliko something? Charger. Is this a charger? 295. Wow. And look at that. That is nuts. That's pretty cool. Let's just go through here. A little cup. Not really worried about that. And looks like it's just a lot more dishes and plates, the main ingredients. So that's nothing crazy. Um, oops. I've got uh, fine S E Y E I China. It's kind of cool, but I'll have to see what I have. This is more of that stuff. I don't like selling glassware, but this looks decent enough for it probably sell in my booth. So that's going to be it for that one. Let's grab this painting because this is one of the ones that caught my eye. I mean, look at that. Isn't that so cool? And it's an actual, an actual painting like... It's oil painting? Yeah. So if you can, if you know who that is, that would be a huge help if you can identify any of them. Looks old. Made in Taiwan. I think that was just the frame made in Taiwan. Because you can tell they um, retaped it. Yeah, put the painting in there. But that's pretty neat. So that's the first one. Here's another one. It's got a uh, signature down there and a signature down there. Nothing on the back. So. That's another pretty cool one. It's so weird, it's like car parts and paintings. Like this is all just nothing, just car parts and electronics and stuff. But here's a, a car headlight and a leather like bike bag almost. There's a pet carrier and more of the bike bags. So I've got this one. Whoa, 1956, look at that. Looks like it says, Baez Bowie, Bayes Bowie. Um, I don't know about that one. Dayton? Yeah, that's probably what it says, Dayton. Wow. But I mean, look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's incredible. There's another one, looks to be by, probably by the same person. <sighs> looks like that same style. Um, nothing on the back of this, but it definitely looks old. Once again, guys, if you know what any of these are, let me know in the comments down below, because I'm going to need some help on this one. Because all of these look old. Oh, my goodness. This one looks awesome. This is A. Rud Rudolphy. Right down there. And I mean, look at this frame. This frame is incredible. This is also a, a, a Doyle a oil painting, A. Rudolph. Wine and peach. 10-1-2012. 
Dayton? So this might be another Dayton painting. Or Dayton was the guy that bought it. I don't know. But that's awesome. This one's awesome. <gasps> no. Oh, no. This one's awesome, but it's damaged. Wow, look That's how old that That's such a shame. I know. They all look like that. W. The Man. The Mon. I'm so upset that it's oh. busted like that, man. That one's cool. I like that one. This one's old. Wow. Summer Flowers G.H. Williams. P. Parker. Wow. Come here. Look at that. 12, 11, 40. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can see that, but it says 12, 11, 40. That is nuts. Fredericks, F-R-E-D-R-I-X, New York. This is another one by that same guy, G.H. Williams. So it looks like a set. Looks like it, yeah. I'm assuming there's nothing else on the back there, but this is probably, the, like you said, part of a set. This one's numbered, 23 out of 250. Hand colored. Um, Hemingway's cat. Yeah, Hemingway's cat, 10 by 14, numbered 23 out of 250, December 1983. So that's pretty neat. This one is uh, uh -oh. shattered, as you can see. But it's numbered 42 out of 250, summer dawn, and it's by that same individual. Um, but good news is, I can easily transfer this one to a different thing. A mirror. Big old mirror. So, I mean, it's pretty neat. A little bit dirty, but that's okay. What? Then you have something goofy like that. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty funny. You got the cat calling the animal control on him. That's just fun. It looks like it's... It looks like it's from a newspaper because you can see the, the text behind it. <laughs> but that one's fun. I like that That's one. That's funny. This says more kitchen. Yep. That's just kitchen. I'm not going to go through that one. This one's going to be interesting. So I think this is more glassware. So let's see. It's <gasps> pretty cool. What is that? Um, Romania glass. Uh, handmade in Hungary. Hungary, okay, yeah. Crystal, 1878. A, AJRO? 24% something. Uh, lead crystal. Oh, that's interesting. There's more. One, two. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm assuming they're all. Oh, those are beautiful. They're all the same or similar. Um, and there, it's this entire box is full of them. Yeah, those are awesome. Yeah, those are rare find. So, this one probably has a decent amount of value in it. Yeah, so for 350 this was a steal of a unit. Um, well, we're down here. More glassware stuff that I'm not really two inches I know you are <laughs> not too interested in it's not the reason why I bought this unit <laughs> um, mom likes the glassware oh, of course <sighs> all right oh this is so there's the, the name up there L F I U M E um, it's in a different language which means it's probably expensive um, Nothing on the back. So, once again, I need some help. All right. Got a Instapot. Nothing too crazy. There's another one. L-E-N-A. Lena Lee. Lena Lee, Lena Lou. Lena Lee, Lena Lou, something. Um, 01 Iris, so it may have been made in 01. JCPenney, $65. So, that one's not too bad. This one almost looks like a Thomas Kincaid, but it's not. I don't see any marking on the front. Hanson's Art Source, Knoxville, Tennessee. That one doesn't look too bad. Here's another one. It's probably very similar looking. 
Oh, I can actually see this one now. 55 out of 1,000, Beside the Still Waters, by Betty Malone. I'm assuming that's Betty Malone. This one's cool. That's very pretty. And it's old. Just look at the back. Wow. You can tell that's old. This one is awesome. There's the signature down there. If you can, I have no idea. I can't even read it. But this one is incredible. I mean, I'm gonna have to obviously try to get the spider webs and stuff off it, but H E I T O. There's another one. Oh no. Slightly damaged. Oh, it's this way. Yeah. There you go. Um, I don't see any markings on it. No signature, no nothing on this one. Get a giant frog. It's just fun. Giant wooden sculpture. No idea. That's the signature. Let's see what this says. Personal Preference Inc. 1937, Ohio Street, Illinois. There's the name of it, I guess. Uh, I think that's 1990. Uh, Got a table or something there. I don't really care about that. That one's interesting. There's the thing down there. It's like some sort of pencil drawing. That one's interesting. Oh, More. Wow. This is very yeah. light. Ivory china. Yeah. So it's just more, more china, this is more ivory china, M-E-I-T-O, china made in Japan, wood rose. So I'm going to assume the entire box is that. This just looks like CDs. I think it's literally just CDs. So I'm not too worried about that. It's CDs plus whatever the heck this thing is. <laughs> And I got two boxes left. This one is just pots and pans. So nothing there. Wow. That's kind of unique. It doesn't look too crazy. Yeah, so this one was definitely interesting for 350. I got tons of paintings and just tons of old unique looking stuff. Like I said, I'm gonna need y'all's help on this one to identify some of these. So if there's any you recognize, put them in the comments down below. That'll really help me out. And if you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. That also helps me out a ton. And I'll see y'all in the next episode. Peace.